Okay, I thought I'd have a go at making a short tutorial for how to do a rectangle to round uh, transition in FreeCAD because I couldn't find any on YouTube. So, using the draft workbench. Right, four points for the corners of the rectangle section. FreeCAD's a bit weird, like it seems I have to move the zoom in and out a bit to get the um, focus to go back to the text input. Okay, now a regular polygon for the round section. And the Z value would be how long we want the transition to be. And for the number of sides, pick something that's a multiple of four. Okay, I'll try that again. I don't know why it's not showing up, but if I rotate the view a bit, then it shows up. Or if you do a, a fit all, that'll make it show as well. I think maybe it could be something to do with the clipping planes, but whatever. Okay. Uh, I didn't actually want that to be a filled um, face, so I'll select it and make face false. And then click back in the view and see it's just a polygon now. Okay, now we go to the part workbench and use the loft to create lofts between each point and the polygon and make them solid. Okay. So now we join these three, I mean four, together with the Boolean union. Now we use this uh, advanced utility to create shapes. A face from vertices and we'll make it planar. 
you hold down control to select the other vertices. And now we can do face from edges. Now we'll hide the fusion that we originally made. It's just the space key. And go back to the create shape. And with another face from vertices. Holding down control to select the other points, make it planar, now four faces from edges, to make a shell from these faces. So if we go back to the model, yep, shows us that there's a shell there. I'm just going to delete all these faces because I don't think I need them anymore. Got the shell, that's what we need. Now, solid from shell. Select the shell, create. If we look at the model, there's the solid, and I can delete the shell. And now, if we go back to tasks, we'll close that. Select the fusion, make it visible by hitting space. I'll select both parts and do a union again. Now we have one solid. And then we go back to draft. Select the fusion and downgrade it or explode it. This thing up here. So now we get a whole bunch of faces. Okay, so we just select these ones and delete them because we don't need them for the transition. I'll leave the bottom face because that'll help me unfold it fl the rest of it to the flat. So I'll go to that top view. Okay, now we just select the faces um, and the f the the bottom. The flat face, you leave that to last, so I'll start from here and then hold down control, select all your other faces in the order that you want them to unfold. And the, finally the bottom one, go to macro and pick the Unfold macro, execute, and there you have it, a flat pattern for a squared around transition.